quiet morning. It's the first day in Vail. So what makes a great ski resort? My opinion is you've got to have an amazing mountain with lots of terrain. You have to have a village that's very active, very alive, great restaurants, great après ski. Vail is one of those places. A crazy statistic about Vail is the fact that there are less than 6,000 people that live here year round, but they have 13 million visitors every year. What do 13 million visitors mean? It means lots and lots of shopping. So today I decided to take the day off. I'm gonna shop in Vail Village first at some of my favorites, and then I'm gonna head over to Lion's Head to finish up the day. And uh, hopefully I can find a vest since I forgot mine skiing this season. Maybe find a t-shirt, coffee cup, find some fun things to take home. I love wandering the streets in Vail Village and checking out the artwork, the bronzes. There's Albert Einstein sitting on a bench. Amazing art installations throughout the town. So I'm finished up with my shopping in Vail Village. I'm headed over to Mountain Cupcakes, which is my favorite way to end a shopping day in this town. Gluten-free chocolate with cream cheese icing. Yum. So I've gone from Vail Village to Lion's Head. It's a beautiful sunny day, so I thought it would be a good idea to come sit outside at Garfinkel's, have a delicious lunch, and do a little bit of shopping in uh, Lion's Head. Love Vail Village for the nightlife, for the restaurants and everything, but I actually prefer staying over here in Lion's Head. It's a little bit easier to get around, not quite so busy, not quite so big. You do find more families over here, but you also get some of the perks like an ice skating rink, the beautiful Airbell Hotel, and lots and lots of easy access from the different condos to the Eagle Bond. You have the streets that are also heated, so you don't have to worry about slipping in the snow, just like you do in Vail Village. And some of my favorite places to stop in over here are performance sports where I do lots of shopping every year. They have beautiful clothing for women and clothing for men, but I prefer obviously the clothing for the girls. I like stopping at the Chop House, seeing Phil Long on Wednesday through Saturday nights. Blue Moose Pizza is over here and they have a delicious gluten-free pizza. I love shopping at Patagonia and Smart Wool as well. Definitely out to do some shopping today. Good morning, it's day two. Dad arrived last night safe and sound, even though we had two feet of snow. And look at this gorgeous, 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 gorgeous weather. So excited to get out there. Here we come, Vail. Here in Vail, there are three distinct areas on the mountain. There's a front side that you can take from the Eagle Bond Gondola out of Lion's Head or the Gondola One, which is a little bit further east from Vail Village. So you can ski the front, a little more intermediate, or you can ski the back bowls, which is China Bowl, Mongolian Bowl, wide open glades, absolutely spectacular, great snow, uncharted territory that way as well. Or you can see the very, very back, which is Blue Sky Basin. Blue Sky Basin is not open all the time, but it's definitely worth the trek if you're uh, an active and advanced skier. Oh my, there's nothing like the beauty of the Rocky Mountains. Here we are at Bistro 14. We decided not to eat at the cafeteria upstairs. Sometimes you need a sit down meal and honestly, the salmon salad and the chili cheese fries are so delicious. worn out, uh, but absolutely spectacular. It's been worth the ride. So 
it was the last night in Vail. I've finished my shopping, I've done my skiing. It's been a fantastic trip. And I am ending my last night at Mountain Standard, which is my favorite restaurant in Vail. This is a perfect way to end your afternoon shopping in Vail Village. Cheers to having Cava Rosé at Mountain Standard. Thanks, Vail, for an amazing time. It's been fantastic. I love the mountain, I love the restaurants, I love the shopping here. If you'd like to learn more about the Abundant Traveler tips and um, places to go and places to see, subscribe below, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah.